Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again from Prasanna Kia showroom in Coimbatore today, and I am here with the new Kia Sonnet GTX Plus diesel manual top spec variant. Of course, you may have already seen my review of the GTX Plus turbo petrol version. At first, this may look exactly similar. That's because it is. On the outside, you do not get any sort of differentiation at the front and you get the exact same features. Especially in this gravity grey color, the Kia Sonnet looks quite impressive in the GTX Plus GT Line variant when compared to the beige gold color. So now let's start talking about the details. Of course, this being a GT Line GTX Plus top spec variant, you get red highlights all around the body. Of course, you may have noted the difference between the HT Line Tech Line variants and the GT Line variant of the Kia Sonnet. This GT Line variant also receives all LED headlamps with signature LED DRLs along with projector fog lamps. You also get the typical red studs on the front grille along with knurled chrome finish. Moving on towards the sides, you get to see these 16 inch dual tone machined alloy wheels which are complemented by the red brake calipers. Additionally, you also get this red line on the lower part of the doors. This here is a quick look on the side profile of the Kia Sonnet GT X Plus variant and you can see that this variant gets full chrome door handles along with chrome piping on the window line. This car also gets silver finished roof rails along with a shark fin antenna whereas at the back you typically get the LED tail lamps with a reflector strip connecting them. On the exterior, the only differentiation is that this being a diesel variant, you do not get a TGDI badging. However, you typically get the GT Line badging on the tailgate. However, as I already said, the Kia Sonnet rear does not actually look complementing to the front and looks more rounded off. This being the top spec variant, you get rear windshield wiper, washer and defogger while also providing a reverse parking camera and rear sensors. So that was all about the exterior of the Kia Sonnet GT X Plus diesel manual variant. Let's get inside now. So folks, right now I'm inside the new Kia Sonnet GT Line GTX Plus top end diesel manual variant and as you can see this here is the 6 speed manual transmission which is quite again exactly the same lever as seen on the turbo petrol versions. However, this car has a clutch pedal. Well, as you can see this GT Line variant of course gets uh, aluminium finished uh, pedals and you also get aluminium finish on the clutch pedal which is again available only on the diesel manual versions because the 1 litre uh, turbo petrol variants do not get a clutch they only get a 6 speed IMT gearbox whereas this here is the diesel manual so it gets a clutch pedal now apart from that everything remains exactly the same uh, you get leather wrap steering wheel you get automatic headlamps cruise control you get the digital instrument cluster well it is a semi-digital cluster which is in full color and you also get UVO connect uh, systems with automatic uh, dimming IRVM as you can clearly see you get the telematic controls on the IRVM itself and this here is the 10.4 inch massive touchscreen system with uh, the UVO connect system as you already know along with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, inbuilt navigation and you also get 7 Bose speakers with the Bose branding over here and even on the speakers on every door well uh, both speakers are quite fine but however the audio quality is definitely not the best in segment definitely not as great as on the Tata Nexon's Harman 8 speaker unit but still it is very very good you get automatic climate control and you also get a rear view camera which can be turned on uh, while even moving forward and you also get the uh, PSD resistance of the Kia Sonnet which are ventilated front seats which is quite an exclusive feature available only on the Kia Sonnet in its category and you also get superb quality leather seats with this different kind of pattern and you also get the perforation through which the ventilation function happens so even if you look at the seats they are quite nice and plush and they look properly sporty and you also get ventilated seats which is quite nice so even on long drives you will definitely not be uh, tired and you will be properly fatigue free so that is quite very very nice and this variant also has wireless charging pad over here along with cooling function for your smartphone which is quite a nice thoughtful idea because uh, over a prolonged use of uh, your smartphone your phone will definitely get heated and uh, at least you can cool down your phone while being charged so that is quite nice on the right side of the steering wheel you get the typical push button start uh, along with the button to turn off the traction control which is also uh, paired to the hill hold control so this variant also gets electronic stability program traction control hill hold uh, so this is quite nice and you also get front parking sensors on this variant and talking about the overall quality every button is very very nicely finished the overall quality as I already said is properly nice however there is no soft touch material whatsoever even on the dash top 
you uh, may assume that this is a soft touch material but instead everything here is of hard plastic despite the fit and finish being quite excellent the overall ambience could have been better and the overall soft feel of the dashboard overall quality of the dashboard could have been slightly better the only soft touch materials you get are on the steering wheel and on the armrest so even the armrest gets leather padding with the stitching lines so only these areas are quite soft touch everything apart from this is all hard touch uh, it is fine okay though now the kia sonnet comes as standard with tilt adjustment for the steering wheel however no telescopic adjustment is available which is again a slight disadvantage for the kia sonnet which is totally fine because only the ford eco sport offers uh, tilt and telescopic steering wheel in this category so that is all about that now coming to a roof of course you get yellow cabin lights and you also get electric sunroof which is available right from the htx variant itself so that is quite nice again and you get the typical couple cup holders with rubber padding on the lower part and you also get a separate phone slot to park your smartphone and this here is the armrest which is non-adjustable however on this variant you get an air purifier uh, which considerably takes uh, some of the space available under the armrest so you can maybe store your very very small items such as wallets or something whereas the lower variants do not get the air purifier which is as you can see quite bulky and uh, you can store a lot of items in the armrest on the lower variants so now that was all about the front part of the cabin of the kia sonnet gtx plus diesel variant now let's check out the back seat yes folks i'm in the back seat of the new kia sonnet gtx plus diesel manual top spec variant and this is how the dashboard looks like uh, well the overall dashboard design layout everything remains the same exactly for the diesel manual and the petrol manual uh, variants except for the lack of a clutch pedal on the turbo petrol uh, variants on the gtx plus variant so in terms of features you get almost every damn thing you need on a compact suv including ventilated seats which is quite superb uh, however coming to the back seat this here is a different story the overall legroom the overall space is definitely definitely a couple notches uh, below other compact suvs such as the xuv 300 or the next one and for even a 5 foot 10 person like me this is just about average and if you store certain things in this uh, seat back pocket behind the driver seat the legroom can be hampered even more so this is quite a thing to consider if you have six footers in your family uh, apart from that the overall comfort is very good the thigh support is decent enough uh, and you also get a center armrest which is again quite robust and properly ergonomic and you also get couple cup holders which are quite deep in size you also get a uh, couple headrests which are adjustable from the htx variant itself which is quite nice and you also get iso fixed child seat mounts as standard now talking about safety features the gtx plus is the only variant in the kia sonnet's uh, uh, variant lineup which gets six airbags along with esp traction control and hill hold well you get side curtain airbags along with thorax airbags for the front passengers so this is quite nice and uh, however my only grouse is that uh, kia has not yet crash tested any of their sonnets or even the seltos uh, especially in the indian market and even hyundai has not uh, crash tested their venue for the indian market so well that is a point to be noted and uh, coming to other features on the back seat of the kia sonnet you of course get rear ac vents as standard from the say very low variants itself uh, however instead of providing uh, knurled four metal finishes on the dashboard or around the ac vents and all the knurled silver finishes are available around the ac vents only on the ht line variants whereas these gt line variants this top spec gt line variant gets piano black finishes which makes the cabin kind of uh, dark uh, i'm not sure whether i like it of course it is sporty of course it is slightly better however it looks overall dark on the inside and with the limited space in the back seat it definitely feels way smaller however the good thing is that you get rear ac vents and you also get a separate uh, smart charger for the rear passengers along with the storage pocket and another good thing is that you get an air purifier monitor over here so that you can uh, monitor your purity of the air probably um, well we will have a look at that once we get to drive this car but for now this here is a quick walk, walk around video and that was all about the back seats you get uh, one liter bottle holders on every door and you also get bose badging on every speaker on all the doors so that was all 
Now let's check out the overall boot space. Opening the boot of the Kia Sonnet GTX Plus diesel manual variant, you of course get to see the very same 392 liter boot capacity, which is very very well shaped and very user friendly. However, even the top spec variants do not receive 60-40 split folding rear seats, and that is a massive step if you fold flat the rear seats. On the right side, you get to see the subwoofer, which is a part of the seven-speaker Bose surround sound system, and on the left side, you get to see a yellow boot lamp. Opening the boot floor, even on this top spec variant, you get to see a 15-inch space saver steel spare wheel. And as I already said, the Hyundai Venue and the Kia Sonnet are the only compact SUVs in this category to provide 15-inch wheels instead of 16-inch ones. That means this spare wheel can be used only for temporary purpose, up to a speed limit of 80 km per hour. So that was all about the boot space of the Kia Sonnet diesel manual top spec variant. Let's just open the bonnet to check out the engine. Opening the bonnet of the Kia Sonnet, uh, well, you have to pull this lever and uh, surprisingly, the Kia Sonnet has also a warning indicator on the instrument cluster, even for the bonnet, which is not even available on certain premium cars as well. So that is quite a nice feature to have and it clearly shows you that the bonnet is open. So now let's check out the engine. So opening the bonnet of the Kia Sonnet diesel GTX Plus variant, this is the manual variant so it gets a 1.5 litre 4 cylinder CRDI turbo diesel engine which produces 100 PS of maximum power and a torque figure of 240 Nm meters through a 6 speed manual transmission. However, one thing to be noted is that the HTK Plus and the GTX Plus variants also have a torque converter automatic transmission option for the diesel version. This produces a higher 115 PS of maximum power and a 250 Nm of maximum torque. So overall this engine is quite very refined and is exactly the same engine seen on the Hyundai Verna, the Kia Seltos, the Hyundai Venue and even the Hyundai Creta. Claim efficiency is around 21 km per litre for the manual versions and around 19 km per litre for the automatic versions. It is surprising to see that even on this diesel version, this Kia Sonnet does not receive any underbonnet insulation material and that speaks volumes about Hyundai's diesel engine refinement. So now let's talk about the pricing of this Kia Sonnet diesel range. So the Kia Sonnet diesel GTX Plus manual variant. Of course the Kia Sonnet is a brand new car with a whole lot of technology and fancy features. And Hyundai diesel engines are also well known for being very refined and adequately powerful. So if you are in the market for a small compact SUV which can seat 4 people in decent comfort provided the fact that they are not above 6 feet in height and you have a monthly running of about 2000 kilometers and the need for the best and latest tech in the market then you can definitely consider the Kia Sonnet diesel range. However, the top spec variants could be a little bit expensive. So meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.